Next call is Lexington, Kentucky. Good morning. Good morning. Am I on? You are on. Okay, cool. Fuck you. Let's go next to Charleston, South Carolina. Charleston, you're on the air. Go ahead, please. Hey, that was a nice guy. Waco, Texas. Jed, Democrat. Hi, Jed. You're on the air. Go ahead. Jed, are you with us? <laughs> I like it. All right, let's move on to... Do, Stephen, he used the word empathy. If you go back and look at his testimony and read it, it he's a clear, clear, big-time supporter of black males. Not even black females. The r proof stands in his riddles of the uh, pornos. Every Friday night, he would go and rip pornos for the weekend for almost two years. The subject of every one of them was black males, long, long silver. He rented that three times before he finally bought it. He never rented a video about woman to woman. I'm going to stop you on that. It's it getting a little bit too in <laughs> But let me go back. Let was me... this guy a researcher for the Judiciary <laughs> Committee or something? I haven't heard about the three rebels. Good morning. You're on with Glenn Johnson. Go ahead, please. Oh, uh, yeah, Mr. Johnson. I just want to say, uh, you know, I love George Bush because he loves to blow shit up, first of all. I... Thanks, caller. Let's go. As you look at this from north of the border, what's your take on these Republican debates, Ray? Well, I think that, you're, uh, that the video you played about the marital infidelity is very relevant because I feel like that entire round showed ABC moderators uh, true bias against Mr. Gingrich, of whom I'm a supporter. And I look at C-SPAN as the example of a network which has the ability to stay unbiased. And first, I have to ask you, Mr. Scully, if you personally have a circumcised penis. We apologize for that. This program works when you can... Uh weigh in with thoughtful comments. We apologize for that comment, and we hope that you don't call again. Next. Jack, Dallas, Republican. You're on with Joe DeGeneva. Hey, Joe, how you doing? I'm Jack Strickland. The question I don't see being addressed is the abundance of references in her emails about AIDS, Skrillex. And what's Sorry about that. We're going to go ahead and move on. More calls. Normal Michigan. Uh, Reagan on our Democrats line. Go ahead. Hi, Pedro. Uh, thanks. And just on a side note, an old college buddy of yours says hello, my coworker. Um, but anyway, on to the topic. Um, just tell you the truth. Um, I don't think we've been bipartisan enough today. I think the main issue is um, that people are wasting water. I mean, they're not there's fluoride in it. People are wasting it. You know, I came across an article on the cover of Tiger Beat the other week. Obama sings, you know, 12 songs in the shower. And Topeka, Kansas. No, California. Saudi Arabia, a friend or foe? Oh, Bush. Ugh. Next call is from Philadelphia. Go ahead, Philadelphia. Good morning. Uh, genius was the last caller, huh? Yeah. Um, you know but uh, I thought I'd just share with you as we go through this uh, half hour, or so some of the emails and what people that uh, listened to Michael Savage had to say to us. Did you really turn off the free speech award when D Michael Savage was to talk? How dare you? You are a Nazi and a Stalinist and are probably a homosexual and I don't appreciate your agenda. Below that, this is one from Stu Lewis and it doesn't say where it's coming from. He says here, C-SPAN sucks, but not as much as you do. That's to me. Have a nice day, dickhead. Yeah, how you doing today? Good. good. Mr. Melton, good to talk to you. Thank you. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Lyndon Johnson. I think he's one of the greatest presidents we've had. He was a real frank president. I appreciate that fact. Um, I just wanted to ask, is there any truth to the rumor that in 64 uh, he was looking towards a uh, running mate of Robin Quivers? Robin Quivers? We'll move on to it. Westchester, Pennsylvania, on our line for Republicans. You're on with Anna Edney of Congress Daily. Hello, thank you. I'm with the WWE, and my name is Paul London. I'm trying to form a union on health care, and I wanted to know some tips. And fuck you. We're going to take another call from Buffalo, New York. Um, I feel as though Obama is not doing a good enough job, you know, that dirty socialist motherfucking piece of shit. Hi, I'm Jack Strickland, and good morning. Thank you for C-SPAN. Go ahead. Yeah, concerning President Obama, I was not impressed with his speech at all, and I think he's proven to the American people numerous times that he's nothing more than an empty suit. The other thing I'd like to say is that there's a rumor going around online that you're a fucking homo. All right. Apologize for that. We'll uh, move on to our next call. Austin, Texas. Lex 
Democrat, you're up next. Uh, yes, hi. I think uh, Romney should suck a cock. Going to move on to the next call, and um, hopefully a substantive one from Haymarket, Virginia. And uh, his quotes, he's a representative, he's a state a representative from Connecticut, and uh, he actually proposed the... Uh, uh, the the voting rights of the chimpanzee in the state of Connecticut to have the same rights as human beings. And hey, caller, what's your point? Uh, well, it's just that chimpanzees uh, like Baba Booey. All right, we'll move on. Pensacola, Florida, Republican line. Point is, the federal government has now forced white people to quiet down if they have a disagreement with black people. But I'm waiting for the federal government to pass the law that says black people have to like white people, just like the laws we have now. My other point is this, okay? Uh, the, the last lady that just called in and said the things about Rush Limbaugh and Glenn Beck, which both of those people I do not listen to, okay, she is one lying nigger. To, uh, to Toledo, Ohio, and Larry on our Democrats' line. <clears throat> Next to Camden, New Jersey on the Republican line. What do you think about all this? Good morning, Brian. And, uh, thank you for C-SPAN. Welcome. When did you lose your virginity? <laughs> what do you mean? How old were you? <laughs> I'm not about to answer that question. When you lost your virginity? <laughs> when did you get fucked? Hey, thanks. Nice to hear from you. Always good to hear our callers when they're like that. Jim, Philadelphia, Republican caller. Hi, Jim. Uh, hello. You're on the air, Jim. Go ahead. Shit. Uh, we'll move on to Keith. My apologies. Ron and Sharon, Pennsylvania. You're on the Washington Journal. Go ahead. Hey, good morning, Rob. Thank you for taking my call. Are you, can you hear me? I can. Tell us about uh, how your community has changed over the last 10 years. Yeah, it's changed a lot. You know, I noticed uh, more people in the area. Excuse me, I'm on my way to work. I'm on, I'm on my way to work this morning on uh, Howard Stern's cock. I think it's very interesting to see how many how different this race is from previous races when you look at the amount of personality that you see in the republican field herman cain with his 999 plan rick perry with his oops michelle bachman with her very hairy vagina oh excuse me that was totally inappropriate and uh we're talking about the candidates and what's going on in new hampshire Let thomas in houston texas republican line thanks for holding you're on with michael gordon of the new york times Penis, penis, penis is everywhere. All right, we're going to move on to Mike in Norwood, Massachusetts, Democrats line. Mike, go ahead with your question or comment, please. Support Jack in Wagon Mound, New Mexico, Republican. Hi, Jack. Hi, Greta. How are you? Morning. Yes, this is Jack Strickland. It's a great day here in Wagon Mound. Look, I hate to bother you at work like this, but did I leave my wallet on your nightstand? All right, Brenda in Houston, Texas. Democratic caller. Hi, Brenda. Paul in Middlefield, Ohio, Democrats line. Please go ahead with your question or comment for Larry Pratt of Gun Owners of America. Hey, good morning. Thanks for taking my call. Please go ahead. Yes, uh, when I purchased my most recent firearm, you know, everything went smoothly. Background check went okay. The guy asked me, you know, do you even lift? And I was like, you are one cheeky cut, mate, I swear. We're going to move on to...